On Wednesday morning, three men pushed down a 51-year-old Crown Heights man and beat him because he is Jewish. Police believe the same men, now under arrest and charged with a hate crime, attacked 22-year-old Mendel Super on the same day, just 15 minutes earlier. It was the scariest experience of my life. I'm just walking in my, in my own neighborhood where I live and I should feel comfortable and something like this happens. It's just so disturbing and just senseless. And on the rise, New York hate crimes in January have doubled compared to the same time last year. With 11 hate crimes in 2018 and 22 in 2019, 15 of the attacks this year on Jews, including this one of a young man punched as he walked on Kingston Avenue two weeks ago. Some critics question if ending the prosecution of quality of life crimes could be fueling violence. Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance stopped prosecuting low level nonviolent crimes in 2016, adding marijuana offenses to the list last year. I actually find in Manhattan, uh, where we have reduced the number of low level cases we prosecuted by 50% in the last six years, Manhattan is safer. And I don't see a relationship between those cases and hate crimes. Evan Bernstein from the New York, New Jersey Anti-Defamation League says there has always been a consistent uptick in crimes against Jews. And I think the climate of this country is now uh, putting more of a light on what's been taking place for, for some time in Brooklyn. Uh, but now it's time hopefully to really start doing more uh, to prevent uh, these acts of hate from taking place. Bernstein and Super advocate for more conversation and education. We have to inspire and, you know, ed educate the people around us to, to, you know, to love everyone. When you don't have people communicating with one another, it creates a divide, and that divide can, you know, potentially lead to violence. No words were exchanged in the last two attacks. That ended with two victims lucky to be alive, and a lesson on intolerance that is yet to be learned. In the newsroom, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. All three men arrested for yesterday's attack are charged with robbery and assault as a hate crime.